Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to Story of Peyton on to Se Seki Setsu Region 1. Lots of uh, strange names. This is very reminiscent of that one Yoshi's Island place. And I bet anything, I cannot friggin' take Yoshi with me. Oh, there's one... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I was going to say, that's one huge complaint I have about this game. Especially when you give me a Yoshi right here. You give me a Yoshi, yet I can't bring the one I originally had with me into the level. Oh, that is very aggravating. But again, kind of a limitation of different things, but again, very, very aggravating. Well, let's just come down here and jump and uh, P-switch it up, I guess. <gasps> There's no P-switch here. I need to find one elsewhere. Oh, well. Bye-bye, moon. Good night, moon. No, that's a book. I don't even like that book, really. What is in here? <laughs> it's a P-switch. <laughs> Imagine that. I kind of had a feeling I thought thought I was actually going to eat that guy, not bounce on him. Well, I guess that's fine. We'll just head on over here and ignore everything else. What does this say? Point a device to the repeat on machinery typically means that it will repeat its actions until it is out of your radius. Is that what those little symbols are? To be honest, I never actually got that. I thought they were just, like, eyes. Yeah, I I never actually got that. And it isn't repeat. Like, wouldn't it be a circle with a little arrow on it? Generally, for the most part, for, like, repeat? I don't know. I could be wrong uh, about that. But I could have... How? Okay. I'm not even going to question how I got hit on Chuck Man right there. Okay. How far can I go without... Actually, pretty much the entire way. Okay. Well, that being said, what do we have in there? Nothing of importance. Nothing of importance at all. Yeah, so I can go pretty much. Can I? Probably not. Okay, so I need I need my uh, skull raft this time. Unfortunately, there's no way to kill the blargy blarg. I'll just have to let him jump. There is no way for me to go and save Yoshi right there. Why, uh, why would you, uh, that is what, that bugs me a lot. Why would you give the player Yoshi if you're not able to take him in almost every level? Like, I've had to leave him behind more often than not, uh, because I just, I can't proceed with him. Like, I can't take him under there. Because he's too tall. Oh, man. Yeah, if you're going to provide Yoshi, you should uh, look at it and be... Like, have a way to take him with you through levels. Unless you want him not to be in a level, then you put, like, a no Yoshi entrance. Or you put the no Yoshi blocks in. Or something. I think I already... This is... Yeah, I played I played this level. I, I thought there was a level missing from the ones I played. Yeah, I was going to say, I played the levels, and I'm like, there's, there's a level missing when I, when I had to uh, go back through the different levels. You need the P-switches. But it doesn't actually tell you this time that you need them. Hmm. Interesting. Unless I miss something. Not P-switches. Springboards! That's what I want to do. 
one to say. Ah, there it is. Yeah, so I need to take one with me, and then I need to use the other one. Come on. There we go. And do that. And do this. And there we go. So that gets me here. But as I said, I could probably get up there uh, without a springboard if I did it right. If I did it right. I don't really care to do it right. Yeah, that level was already played at one point. But that would be my main suggestion, is if you don't want Yoshi to be used in a level, add in the no Yoshi entrance or use the no Yoshi blocks to kill Yoshi off. Put in a Yo Yoshi filter of some sort so the player doesn't assume, hey, I could probably keep Yoshiing this level and then not be able to have Yoshi at all. Okay, now I need to wait. Uh, and yes, that platform does process while off screen. So you can wait for it. I just did not feel like sitting there and waiting in real time. Because this platform is super slow. It is almost like having um, an auto-scroll level, but not having an auto-scroll level. Just so super slow. So slow. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous and annoying, to be honest. Okay, now we Koopa jump. And we realize that we have to do it in a way that uh, lets us land on the Koopas before they're thrown onto the munchers. Now we wait again. Do I have to wait? No, I don't. In fact, I don't have to wait at all. There we go. Uh, skipping those boring, boring segments. With a cape and Koopas. Of course, what I wanted. Okay. Region 5. And of course... Can I... Yes, I can tail swish him. I could not remember if I could or not. And get them all out of the way. Kill him. The only big problem with, uh... Uh... What is his name? The Porky Puffer. Is the fact that... He doesn't ever swim down. He only swims up. So, unfortunately... He's not really a threat. As soon as he gets, like, above you... He's just... He's not a threat anymore. Like, that guy never was a threat. I mean, they're kind of in the way right now. But at the same time, if I just sit here, they're going to just float up. And they'll just go off screen. There we go. See? Not a threat at all. If they're under you, yeah, they become a really big annoyance. But they... I mean... It's really unfortunate that Super Mario World got away from uh, Boss Bass, who was freaking terrifying. He was a terrifying enemy because he's a one-hit kill. You couldn't kill him. He was just—he was there and he was menacing. Like Boss Bass was probably the best uh, character or best enemy. And where to now? Region 6. A very long world. Let's just complete the world by doing this and then the castle. And lots of feathers, which makes it super easy to complete different things. Yeah, because I... Feathers. Feathers just make this game too easy. 
That that is a running theme in most uh, Mario games. Is there's always one power up, which completely breaks the game. In uh, Mario 3, it was the Raccoon Tail because it allowed you to fly uh, much better than the cape, in my opinion. Because the cape, yeah, you can fly, you can fly indefinitely, but you can't really control your height very well. The raccoon tail, on the other hand, you could. So, I mean, there's plus and minuses to both of the flight power-ups, but yeah, there's just power-ups that break the game. Not necessarily in like a horribly bad way, but yeah, they just, they break the game. Okay, I didn't actually need to use uh, my P-switch there. I don't know where the P-switch would have been usable, though. Or relevant, rather. So let's just go and go this way. Mm, number four, Larry's Castle. Was there even a three? A number three castle? Because I fought, what, Lemmy? Or Larry, or who, whoever. I think it was Lemmy's castle, but it was actually Larry. I don't know. Uh, okay, those are spikes. Kind of thought so, but I wasn't sure. Uh, but yeah, it was the the pipe one, and then I fought Windy. Yeah, no, the, I've not actually done four castles. There was a mini castle, I guess. The little uh, fortress. But there was no actual... Like, third castle. Also, that spike is really just meaningless. Oh, ah! Uh, come on, do that. There we go. That is what I wanted. Flimps are definitely in the way compared to a lot of different enemies. Do that. There we go. Yeah. The Switch Palaces make this so easy. My suggestion would have been not have the entire floor be taken up by the Switch blocks, but rather just, like, bits and pieces to still add a challenge in. Yeah, I think this is actually Larry. Let's see. Lemmy is the other one. Lemmy and Larry... Windy and... No, it's Iggy. Iggy, yeah, Iggy and, L and Larry. Lemmy and Windy. Roy and Morton. And then uh, Von Koopa is the last one. Ludwig. Peyton has defeat. Okay, your castle's name wrong. Peyton has defeated the cold-hearted Larry in castle number three. Peyton saved all of his other remaining friends, except for his father's egg that was sadly smashed during the fight. Well, there's that. Yeah, your castle's named wrong. Anyway, Koopa Minds will be next time. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back later with more Story of Peyton. See you guys then.